feeling the pain. Scott Dawkins' dog, Alice, has been at the vet for days, and it's not the first time. She got sick three months ago after a different treat recall. I looked into it to see, you know, what brains it were, and as it turned out that she was eating one of the ones that was on um, notice for the salmonella. Dockham switched treat brands and stuck with chicken jerky. When these new ones came on, I saw human grade. It's like, okay, definitely won't have a problem with these. I mean, you say saying they, I can eat them. But now Alice is sick again. This time she was vomiting a yellowish, milky substance, um, wasn't eating, ended up not walking very much, and was hot to touch. The FDA hasn't issued any recalls, but Wagon Train, Canyon Creek Ranch, and Milo's Kitchen have pulled their jerky treats from store shelves. The administration says the treats seem to be linked to kidney disease in pets, but Alice didn't eat those brands. She had uh, the dingo market cuts um, that were her special treat at night. The other, the full moon brand, their normal day treats. The FDA says the involved treats all have ingredients that are made in China, but no one knows how many brands are affected, and veterinarians can't tell exactly what's making dogs, like Alice, sick. And this isn't the only confusing case. The FDA originally thought the problem was an antibiotic residue on the treats, but now scientists don't think that's the case. FDA investigators are now asking pet owners and vets to send them information about pets who have gotten sick after eating chicken jerky, which Alice's vet plans to do. And to make sure she's safe, Dockham is taking the treats into his own hands. I'm going to make the dog treats. I think that's about the safest thing I can do for her is just buy some chickens and cook them and save them just for her. But for now, he just wants Alice to be okay. Mm -hmm.